What's up, dude and dudes? This is Froggy2K9, and today I'm going to be bringing you a 40 kill gameplay. This gameplay is with the Golden UMP, and I've actually almost finished the Golden UMP. Almost completely finished the gun. You know, it's it's quite hard to finish a gun, especially the headshots. The headshots is possibly the hardest part of finishing a gun, at least it is for me. And on that note, I'm actually going to leave the gameplay behind and go straight on to what I'm going to talk about. Now, warning, warning. This contains spoiler alerts. Warning. There's your warning. Okay, so, on the lighter note, AMC's The Walking Dead Season 2 has re-begun. You know, it started again, and uh, I don't know. I think it's almost over, actually. I think Season 3 is on the way. I'm not sure. I'm not positive on that. I don't know, so I shouldn't really say anything, but I'm gonna anyway. So... Season 2. I couldn't wait for this to start up. I am a huge fan of Season 1. I'm a huge fan of the first part of Season 2, you know? it. I just can't wait. I just, you know, I, I was practically, you know, gnawing on my fingers just waiting for Season 2 to restart. And I decided, you know what, I'm not going to do a commentary right as it begins. What I'm going to do is I'm going to wait a little bit and I'm going to let it start up so that I can get going when it's when it's you know burned into my brain when I when I've watched it over and over and over again and I'm like nee. you know that just sort of nee. I love this thing if any of you don't watch The Walking Dead if any of you don't I really 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 I don't know where I'm going with that really suggest you do because it is a great great series you know with the walking dead i didn't expect it to be as good as it was you know with season one let's let's take a look back at season one you know the character building it, you got to know the characters nice and slow it wasn't like a all up in your face sort of here's the character here's who he is here's what he does here's how he's feeling and here is you know it, Here's his, basically him. Here's what he is. Uh, I don't like that sort of character building. That to me is, you know, I like I like them to build the character slowly. To show me a storyline, you know. I, I'm not just looking at the storyline as it is. What I do is I look deeper. I want to I wanna see the story behind each of the faces around me. You know. And Rick does that. Rick really 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 pulls that out you know especially uh, I just keep saying really really so much but you know there's no there's um, there's no superlatives that can cover it as much as repeating really over and over and over again reputation is the best way to describe The Walking Dead even though it repeats you know zombie comes along person kills zombie even though that repeats itself over and over again, who cares? You know, it's got an amazing storyline. There is repetition in absolutely everything you see around you. And I think that taking it all back to a, you know, safe zone would be the wrong way to go. You know, they, they finally found a safe zone or what they thought was a safe zone, and it suddenly turned bad. You know, this is what I think is, is good, you know. Finding a safe zone, then it turns bad. Uh, they they think they found a winning formula. I hope not. You know, I heard they're following some some magazine, The Walking Dead. I'm not sure. I haven't read it. I haven't seen it. I don't even know about it, to be honest. Well, I haven't looked it up. I have no reason to because I like The Walking Dead so much. No, I say repetition, but you know, if you've actually watched till now, you probably are already spammed in the comments. It doesn't repeat itself. And if you have, watch the frickin' video. Watch the entire video, you douchebag. But if you want a douchebag and you continue watching the video before you decided to comment on something that I've already stated about just now, then I like you. You're a good person. So, anyway. As I was saying, it, it doesn't really repeat itself because the storyline is really well building. You know, it's nice and slow. As um, let me take let me take for example Stargate. Now, I'm thinking what? What what the hell is Stargate? What? 
What is this thing? I don't like you, unsub. Yeah. Well, Stargate was a series that started a long time ago. It actually started as a movie a very long time ago. And what it is, is these big rings, and you walk through it after you activate it, sends you across the galaxy, across the universe, whatever, bloody 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 blah, blah, through a wormhole, a miniature wormhole, a controlled wormhole. That's the important part of this, it's a controlled wormhole. But it sends you across the galaxy, or across the universe, or whatever like that. And you end up in these areas with aliens, they fight the aliens' primary enemy, Gould, and it changes throughout the, you know, throughout the different seasons. It changed which, which, which enemy was the actual enemy. Rafe come up at one point, and then the Ori come along. But eventually, good guy always wins. Winning formula. So, as far as The Walking Dead goes, I don't know what's going to happen. I really don't. Because it's, it's very unexpected. It really is. I didn't expect some of the things to happen that happened. There was one part that I expected to happen. That was the last one that was shown to us here in the UK. And that was someone dies. Okay, I'm not going to tell you who, but someone dies. And basically, kid goes out with a pistol. Okay, so for those who haven't even seen season 2, I'm not going to even tell you which kid. If you haven't seen season 2, so I'm not going to tell you which kid it is. It's just a kid. A kid goes out, basically steals a guy's gun, and just starts walking around the woods. Stupid kid, right? Yep, pretty much. Even I thought that. I thought that, you know, this is going to go wrong. Something's going to go wrong, and this kid is going down. But I was wrong. You know, he started playing around with a zombie. And I don't mean playing around as they got their sticks out and they started tapping, you know, you know, I didn't mean they get they get their toys out, they get their cars out and they start playing. No, not that. I mean, he starts throwing rocks at the zombie, he starts taunting it, you know, a bit mean. He's, you know, even though he's a zombie, you know, he was a person at one point. You know, show some respect, at least, just a little bit of respect. This isn't a dead husk, this is... This is a previous human being, you know, this person deserves at least a burning. At, uh, at least that's what they do, at least they burn the bodies, you know, it's like... Dude, at least you burn the bodies. Anyway, kid gets scared, runs off, the zombie chases him, and kids get back home. Doesn't realize the zombie has chased him. The zombie is now walking around their camp or their area, unnoticed. And basically, a guy dies because of it. And he doesn't bite this guy. He doesn't bite him. What he does is he rips his stomach out. Now, isn't that a nice picture? Anyway, so after this happens, sad, sad, sad. So, now, now I'm getting to think, you know, he only ripped his stomach out. Apparently, in this world, in this sort of confusing confusing world bites kill bites they didn't say nothing about the zombie ripping his stomach open you know if they didn't say nothing about him you know if the zombie tore your stomach out but you know they still knew that he was gonna turn that got me thinking you know is this like AIDS you know if, if any sort of liquid from a zombie or a sort of moisture or anything anything that contains the zombie's DNA gets into the bloodstream of another, another person. You know, is that what causes it? You know, is it like AIDS? Or or is it like a um, a hereditary disease that humans altogether, the human human race has always had. Just it needs a catalyst like death to activate. Or is it like it needs a catalyst from the zombies to activate, or does the does the zombies cause it to happen faster? So you just need to die. You don't even need to, you know. You don't even need to get bitten in some cases. That's what I think. I think you don't even need to get bitten. I think it's like a hereditary disease that humans have always had, but something caused it to mutate in all humans, and you just need to die for the catalyst to activate. I think it's called the catalyst anyway. Don't quote me on that. Go and watch The Walking Dead if you haven't already. 
please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is on a lighter note. It's been froggy 2 k 9 Happy days, guys. Happy days. Victory. Good work, comrades.